After recording the solution videos for section 4.4, some of the problems were renumbered. And what I refer to as problem number 11 in this, uh, in this following video is now problem number 39 in the book. In problem number 11 of section 4.4, we look at a differential equation, it's no, or a type of differential equation. It's known as a dooms, uh, doomsday differential equation. And a doomsday differential equation is of the form dp dt equals kp to the 1 plus r. And here we're assuming that k and r are positive constants. Now, the reason that it's called the doomsday equation is that there's a certain value, we'll call it t naught, such that the limit, as, limit of the population as t approaches this critical value, t naught, is equal to infinity. So if this is modeling a population, the effect is um, that as you know, time approaches this value, the, equation, or the population kind of blows up or goes to infinity, um, hence uh, the name doomsday. But part A uh, says we have you know, a certain population that fits a uh, different doomsday differential equation with a given value of r equals uh, 0 0.01. And we're given two, uh, two initial conditions. We know that the population at time 0 is equal to 1,000, and the population at time 2 is equal to 2,000. And naturally, we're asked to solve, set up and solve the differential equation. This means that dp dt is equal to k, which is still unknown, times p to the 1 plus r, which will be 1.01. Now, there's really nothing that's stopping us from just integrating this. Uh, so, if we take the integral with respect to uh, t, or with respect to p here. Uh, wait, hold on, let me see. Excuse me, first we'll have to, uh, I apologize, first we will have to separate variables. So, we put all the p's on the left hand side. We'll get dp over k p to the 1.01 .01 equals dt. And now we can go ahead and just integrate on the left with respect to p and on the right with respect to t. So on the left we get 1 over k and p to the, or 1 over p to the 1.01 .01 is the same as p to the negative 1.01. .01, so we're integrating with respect to p, so we can just use the power rule here. So this will be um, p, and we raise it to power, so we'll have negative 0 0.01. And we're going to want to divide by that same power. So this will be negative 0 0.01k. And on the right-hand side, we just have t plus some constant c. So say that this is equal to, well, if we solve for p, p, we have p to the negative 1 over 100 is equal to, now we have negative uh, 0.01k times t. Uh, right. And plus some value of c. And now if we want to solve for p, we can raise each side to the power of negative 100. So we end up with p, as, is p as, as a function of t, is equal to negative 0.01k t uh, plus c to the negative 100. And now we can use our initial values that were given to solve for p and t. So p of 0 is 1,000. Oh, that means that um, solve all this out, we get c to the, this goes to 0, and we end up with 1 over c to the 100. And if we plug this into our calculator, we can find out that C is about point, let's see, I wrote it down here, it's 
254 or 254. And we can use the second initial value that we were given. P of 2 is equal to 2,000. And let's see, that will imply um, that this term here, so the negative 0.01k, is approximately equal to 0 0.00332, I believe. Excuse me, three two two. So after we do that computation, we can plug right back in, plug these values into our uh, equation for p of t to find the specific solution, and that becomes one over uh, point zero zero three two two t plus. 0 0.933254 and that entire denominator is raised to the power of 100. Right. And now in part, uh, part B we're asked to find the doomsday, in other words the value T naught such that the limit uh, limit of the population as time approaches this critical value is equal to infinity. Uh, so we see that just looking at the um, formula for the population, which I'll write again here, Well, we see that that's going to happen precisely when, um, when the denominator approaches zero. So if the denominator is approaching zero, then t must be approaching, um, well, we'll just set the denominator or the, well, yeah, we'll set the denominator equal to zero. And if we take the 100th root of both sides, that's 0 0.0322t. And I should realize this original value that I sh said here is actually should have should be negative. Um, so we have negative point zero zero three two two t plus point zero point nine three three two five four is equal to zero, and we solve for t here, we'll find that t is equal to, I believe it's 289, yeah, 289.5, 0.584. And what this is saying is that after, um, that would be t naught there, this is saying that, um, well, after 289.584 units of time, whether it be years, seconds, uh, whatever unit we're using, that the population will, as, as t approaches this value, the population will tend to infinity.